In this video, I'll cover the basics of creating a hosting account and how to upload Lighthouse Studio surveys so I can collect respondent data. Once I've finished creating my survey and I'm ready to start fielding, I'll then need to upload the survey to the hosting system. In the ribbon at the top of Lighthouse Studio, there's a button labeled Hosting. I'll click on that. Hosting accounts are separate from Sawtooth Software accounts, the account used to log into Lighthouse Studio. If you have already created a hosting account, you can enter the account credentials here or click Create New Account if you have not created one yet. On the sign up page, you will enter your basic credentials, as you would to create any other account. The main difference is this field that asks for an annual subscription hosting code. When your license for Lighthouse Studio was purchased, you received an email that includes details about your license as well as the annual subscription code. Copy and paste that string of characters into this field. This will ensure that your hosting account is connected to your software license. If you can't find the subscription code, reach out to the support team and we can send it to you again. Then you'll fill out the rest of the fields and click Create Account. I'll go back to Lighthouse Studio. I'll enter my credentials and click Save. Now I'm at the main hosting page. In order to upload the survey to the hosting service, I'll need to create a new project. I'll click on the New Project button. On the Add Project page, you'll specify a project name and a domain name. The default option is to use the Sawtooth Software domain. If you would like to use a custom domain that doesn't include Sawtooth software, you can enter that in here and then pay a small fee. Next, you'll enter in estimates for the total number of respondents you think you'll have and when you think you'll be done with your project. While fielding your study, if you need to extend the time of your project, you can do so from your hosting account. The last setting is whether or not you would like to enable the project for offline interviewing. Checking this will allow you to download your survey to an Android device using our app. You can get responses without an internet connection and then later on upload all the data to the hosting server. After defining all of your settings for the project, you'll click the Add Project button and the project will be created. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Once it's created, I'll be able to see it in my list of hosting projects. I'll click on the project I created called Testing. Then I'll see this field labeled Remote Study Path. A remote study path is essentially a subfolder in a project. In this example, my project name is Testing. So if I had created a version of the survey in English and another in Spanish, I could upload both of those surveys to the same project by creating a study path for each survey. You'll see that as I type in English or Spanish, it adds that to the end of my survey link. In the example survey I'm doing today, I only have one survey version, so I'll leave the remote study path field blank. Once I've completed the steps of creating a hosting account and creating a new project, I can upload the survey to the server. This will take all the files and upload them to the hosting project. After everything is uploaded, I'll be able to send the survey out to respondents. It will take a little bit to finish uploading the survey. When the survey is finished uploading, I'll be presented with three different links. The survey access link, the admin module link, and the one-click link example. The survey access link and the one-click link are both links you can use to send your survey to respondents, but they each have a specific use. The survey access link will take me directly to the survey. In this survey, I had created a login page. In order to start the survey, I'll need to enter in the password, which is Corey. Then I'll be able to continue and take the survey. The one-click link allows me to pass in values over the URL and have respondents bypass the start page that we saw by using the survey access link. Using this version of my survey link, I can send a URL to respondents with the values at the end of the URL prefilled. These values will be saved in the respondents record when they take the survey. In my survey example, instead of requiring a login page, I could add the password field into the URL. If I were to enter my password in the link by replacing value with Corey, I can have the respondent bypass the login page and go straight to the first question of my survey. The one-click link is the common use for survey authors. I can protect my survey without requiring the respondent to enter in a password. I can also use this link to pass other data through the URL, such as a user ID or location. The admin module link is the place I can go to view my survey data. 
Clicking on this link will open an internet browser and I can view all my data records, run reports, download the survey data, and more. Once I've completed my study and have downloaded the data from the admin module, I can either delete the project or just the survey from the server. I'll click the Delete Survey from Server button. Once it's complete, since I don't have any other surveys in this project, I'll be asked if I want to delete the project. Since there are no other surveys in this project, I could delete it. But if I had used a custom domain, I could choose to keep the project and use it again later to retain that domain. In this case, I'll choose No and keep the project. At this point, if I were to paste in my survey link again and enter the password, the page will not be found because the survey is now deleted. If later on, I wanted to delete the project, I can open my hosting account by either clicking My Account in the Hosting dialog box in Lighthouse Studio, or by opening a web browser and going to hosting.sawtoothsoftware.com and logging in. Here, I can see all the hosting projects I have in my account and can manage any settings related to them. I can also click Delete Project to remove it from the hosting servers. That's how to upload your Lighthouse Studio surveys to Sawtooth Software's hosting system.